What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Today we are at the halfway stage of the Australian Big Bash League and today we'll be looking to go and cement our position inside the top four. Currently sitting third, uh, but a win here today, we're not going to take a run there because that would be very risky, but a win here today would take us, I believe, top on net run rate, but I can't confirm or deny that so far. Um, so it's been a pretty good season so far. Obviously, round four, we have won one and lost. Uh, sorry, we've won two and lost one. Uh, so currently sitting on four points. And as I said, if we can manage to go and pick up the win here today, it is going to allow us to probably be uh, on top, heading in past the halfway stage, which is going to almost guarantee us that top four place. It just means we need another couple of wins here and there, and we will be able to go and make uh, the semifinals. But enough about that, because in Monday's video... Whew, that's close, that's a chance, but it is going to be our first four of the game. In Monday's video, I didn't talk about the IPL final, which I believe was played on Monday morning New Zealand time, so we are going to talk about that here today. Um, there's probably a few players in this game here. I know uh, the Sydney Sixers captain, Moises Enriquez, he played for the winning Sunrisers Hyderabad. Uh, they batted first, scored over 200, which um, David Warner it did say, I can't remember if this was in... I can't remember if I said this in Monday's video or not, um, but David Warner did a quote. I think it was after his semi-final win um, that he likes to have runs on the board heading into a final. And that was just the case. Uh, well, just any knockout game, shall we say, not the final. Um, you know, any pressure game, runs on the board, does go and do wonders. And I think that worked for them in the semi-final, worked for them in the final as well. They scored, two hundred, I think, about 209 uh, from memory. So a very, very good total uh, that was put on the board. And... You know, they never really looked back from there. It was, well, it wasn't all one-way traffic. Shane Watson had a, uh, a fairly good innings as well, I believe, from memory. Um, 61 off 24 seems to come to mind. Um, but yeah, 209. I think Warner scored another 50. The guy, I mean, everyone's talking about Virat Kohli, and I've talked about Kohli all season long. Uh, but David Warner has had an equally good season. I don't think he's converted uh, as many hundreds, but he has scored a lot of 50s. So you can't really uh, take too much away from him. And his captaincy has been very good as well. Um, but yeah, 209 scored. David Warner got some runs. I can't remember who else got the runs uh, for the Sunrisers Hydra bid. Uh, but they managed to go and get it done in the end. Virat Kohli narrowly missed out on a 1,000 uh, runs in the IPL as well uh, after this game. I think he needed uh, another 26 or something, which is quite incredible when you think about it. I think it was... 16 games he played, and he notched up almost 1,000 runs in T20 cricket, which is absolutely crazy. Um, his strike rate was good as well. His strike rate was about 150, uh, which means he was still scoring those runs at a good uh, rate of knots. And I believe it was 400s and possibly about 550s, I think, uh, from memory. Don't quote me. I could be wrong. Um, but just a phenomenal season from him. Well done, obviously, to Sunrise's Hydrobid. RCB uh, is their third final, I believe, they have been in in IPL history, and it is their third loss. So they haven't been able to get over that final hurdle when the time has come to the crunch. And a lot of people were saying that because the Sunrisers, like it was kind of, the final was kind of a battle against Bat and Ball. The Sunrisers, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinion, have the best bowling attack in the competition, whereas RCB probably have the best batting uh, in the tournament when you look at the likes of, obviously, Shane Watson, who scored those runs, Rat Coley, who almost scored a 1,000 uh, T20 runs in the IPL alone. Uh, Chris Gale, who scored some runs in the final as well, I think he got 70-odd, uh, I believe, and A.B. de Villiers as well. So there is plenty, plenty of batting in that side. But it was the bowlers for the Sunrisers who went and got the job done. They were able to defend that 200, 209, whatever it was that the Sunrisers got. Ah, uh, sorry, that the... Um, Sorry, yeah, that they got, Sunrise has got about 200, 209, as I said, and they were able uh, to defend that. They, do, As I said, they have a very, very good bowling attack. They've got, um, is it Riz? The, the Bangladeshi guy whose name I can't pronounce, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because I know I will just embarrass myself greatly. Um, but they got him, uh, Rish, Mushfika, I think it was Mushfika someone. Is it Fizz or Riz is his nickname or something like that? But, um, you know, he bowled incredibly well all tournament. And they had the other guys to go and back them up as well. So, um, well done to the Sunrisers for picking up uh, their maiden. Oh, man, I thought that was going to be way better than a one. But picking up their maiden IPL title, very well done on that there. And now... It kind of feels like there isn't really too much going on. I know there is a tri-series between South Africa, Australia, and West Indies, which is starting um, 
it's starting in, in just a couple of days, I believe, uh, the first game is. So that's something that we'll be looking for. Won't take the run there because we've actually got off to a fairly good start here. We haven't been overly aggressive, but still 24 off 17. We haven't just really been able to find uh, those boundary options when they have been on offer. We might try and, I was going to say, try and work some around off our pads, but even that there is only going to warrant us uh, a one or a two. So... It's a nice wee cut shot, actually, uh, that we do manage to go and pick up one off. And a good over so far from Brett Lee. Just the four off it off the first five balls in the power play. And um, this isn't as destructive as we were last time around. Last time around, I hit about 150-odd <coughs> uh, quite easily. And as I said, here is Moises Enriquez, who did play in that Sun Rises team that managed to go and uh, and pick up the trophy. I, To be honest, he was a guy who... You know, it was a little bit surprising for me. Obviously, he offers uh, with both bat and ball compared to someone like Kane Williamson. Uh, but Kane did have, in my opinion, a very good IPL. I think he only played uh, two, three matches. I think he was slightly injured or coming off an injury, which is why he didn't play too many games. Um, but he hit a couple of 50s, I believe, from memory. So, oh, nudge that through. Beautiful. Oh, there's no fielder back there either. We'll take that, boys. We will take that. I I swear there was a fielder back there. Oh, my God, there's not. Why have we not been playing out there more often? We've been trying to flick off the pads. Instead, we will just go and run it. Just run it down to third man and continue to pick up boundaries. But, yeah, Kane Williamson, um, you know, did have a little bit of an, a, an indifferent tournament, I guess you'd say. Didn't really get uh, the opportunity that, well, when the opportunity was presented to him, he didn't really... Uh, I guess snatch it with both hands would be a way of saying it, but he did score, a, I believe it was at least 150, and then scored quite a few. I think he did struggle a little bit with the Indian conditions, and um, quite often his scores were at quite low strike rate, sometimes even below um, 100, which I think Moises and Rex, he didn't score probably as many runs, um, but when he did score his runs, he did score them at a better strike rate, and he did offer quite a bit uh, with the ball as well. Another player that I do need to talk about is I believe Ben Cutting played for the Sunrise as well. And this is only like his second, maybe his third game that he has played all IPL. And he puts in a man of the match performance. Ben Cutting is one of those guys that I think just never really fully took his potential to the next level. Like he could have been a guy um, who could have played, I believe, in the national setup in the Australian side. Uh, you know, had he just been a little bit more consistent. He's one of those guys who is very dangerous with the bat and a very, very handy bowler as well. Um, I, I think his batting in recent times probably has more overtaken uh, the bowling side of things because his batting can be very destructive. I think he scored, it was about a 60, I think it was a 62 off 31. It was a strike rate of about 200 um, in the final. And... You know, his bowling still is quite effective, but I think his batting really has gone um, and stepped up a little bit of an extra notch uh, when it has come, you know, to the crunch. So, speaking of crunch, we are going to start to go crunching time. Because 34 of 27, it's not awful, but it is not really what we are used to. And after 7 overs, I believe there is only, no, it must have been 8 overs, only 69 in the books, which isn't actually that bad when I do look at it now. But um, I think it is time to go and try and step things up a little bit and just get that runs, get those runs on the board. Um, because Hales is in, he's 15 off 11, so he is, you know, he's here, he's ready, he can get going uh, when need be. So we're just going to go and continue to try and just score these runs quickly. We're moving along, we are just four runs away uh, from... Oh, no, I don't think we've timed that well enough. I was going to say, we are just four runs away from a 50. We do manage to go and get it there. So 50 off 30 deliveries. It was a little bit slow at the start from Cliffy, but we have since gone and really amped it up a notch uh, towards the end. So we will go and continue. Just continue to keep going, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, pick up some easy runs. I mean, if you're going to bowl out there, Moises, you are just going to get pumped because you have no one back. It is just a half volley. And it's just a nice wee little easy pick-me-up over cover. Run rate up above 9 now. This is what we want to see. I, it's at this stage of the game that I don't really get too uh, fussed if I do get out in this situation here. Because we have already gone and got our team off to a very good start. And it does mean that the guys coming in later on can go and continue on that there. And there's not as much pressure on them to go and score at a, an incredible uh, strike rate from the get-go. You know, they can take a little bit of time to get in. And Moises... Mate, I am just going to continue to keep pumping you over cover if you're going to keep keeping it there. 
How many times did I say keep in that last sentence? I lost count. It was quite a few. Keep, keep, keep. I think I said it three times. And then if you are going to bowl me up full tosses, you are just going to get put down the ground quite easily into the side screen. We move on to 72. That is the 50-run partnership as well that has come up. Majority of those, well, not majority of them. I think 16 hails is hit. So, um, you know, that's not terrible. There's a man coming around. Whew! And he's almost got there, but in the end, we do manage to get enough. Move on to 78. And just like that, I mean, we weren't struggling by any stretch of the imagination. We were not struggling by any stretch of the imagination. But we have just gone and amped it up just a little bit. Oh, nice, Cliffy. Please don't tell me that. Oh, my God. I was going to say, please don't tell me there is a man there. It was sitting up. I probably could have gone a little bit squarer rather than finer. But um, Hazelwood does manage to go and pick up our wicket. And that is a little bit, not a, it is a little bit of a concern. But we are still in a very good position. Two for 113. And um, the guys have finished off strongly. Bolter and Tate have gone and done the job. I think we have gone, picked up our third win out of four. And uh, high fives all around for the Adelaide Strikers. Cliff, man of the match, 78 off 36 striking at over 200. And that's what we need to do. We win by 69 runs. That is going to help our net run rate massively as well, which is what we want. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter links that can be found down below in the description. Um, as I said, hope you're having a good week. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We've got more Rugby Challenge 3 pre a Pro Career Mode coming your guys' way. Make sure you do not miss that.